All right, so what we're doing today, we are looking at the exercises one to seven on chapter 6.2, designing a web page. So our first exercise, exercise one, we are looking at adding a bookmark. So basically we're looking at creating a web page using Microsoft Word. Now, I would have said that um, when we were looking at designing a web page, there are three methods of designing a web page that we are going to look at. Anybody remember the three? Uh, there are word, web, and a web. Word, HTML. Very good. Word, HTML, and web builder. And remember I said HTML is not that much um, necessary to learn. Are we still going to go through some of the basics of it? But Word, that is important for you to learn um, how to build a web page with Word. So this is going to get a bit technical. And if you guys aren't going to practice with it, you're going to have a hard time when you see SEC exam. I'm constantly warning you about that. So we're looking at exercise one. We're adding a bookmark. Now the first step is to open a blank word document that was done and it says to type equal rand open bracket six comma four close bracket. Um Savage, you want to zoom in a little more? Good. And press enter. Good. So this creates random text in your document. It says to save the document as chapter 6 EX. Um, well, you don't have to worry about the save part. So, unless it's needed later on, you can save it. Save it, just in case we need it later on. To reference the file or something. <coughs> chapter 6 EX. Yes, our chapter six exercise. Yeah, that's it. So select the first word on the page. So go to the first word, select it, good. And select insert on the menu bar. So that's the insert tab. And then choose bookmark. Good, so bookmark is on the links. Now type the name top and click add. Good. Now locate the sixth paragraph and uh, select the last word in the paragraph, insert and go to the menu bookmark once again and type the name end, type the word end and click add. Good. So that is basically adding how you add a bookmark in Microsoft Word. Now to go to the bookmark, it says to select insert on the menu and then choose bookmark and select the bookmark name and go to. Good. So if you select end and you go to, it takes to the bottom. If you select top and you click go to, it's going to take you to the top of the document there. So that's how you add the bookmark and that's how you go to the bookmark. Now to delete a bookmark, it says to basically open the same box and select the bookmark and click delete. So we have the delete option right there and we just deleted the bookmark. So that is how you create a bookmark, that is how you go to the bookmark's location, and that is how you delete a bookmark in Microsoft Word. So do you guys have any questions on that? Are you guys following on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. It's simple, right? It's a simple bookmark. So if you had a larger document, if the document was much larger and you wanted to go to a certain page, 
that maybe has a certain um, piece of information, you can use that bookmark to do so. Um, exercise two now. Thank you, Savitri. So we're going to have Michaela now. That's going to do exercise two. Yes, sir. You can screen share when you're ready. Good. So exercise two, using hyperlinks to be directed to an existing document. So it says to open a blank word document and type the following sentence. This sentence contains a hyperlink here. Good. And select the word here. And click insert so go to the insert tab and select hyperlink good so in this case it's going to be link and in recent versions of Microsoft Word you select link good from the insert tab another option is to right click on the text and you're going to see hyperlink so close the box let's close the box if you have open there good Right click on here and you're going to see the option of link at the bottom. Good. And it takes you to the same box also. Good. So that is how you open the hyperlink box. So on the left pane, select existing file or web page and browse to locate the chapter 6 documents. Good, so that's your chapter 6 document there. Click OK. And you move the pointer over to the word here. So notice the text became blue and it is underlined. So what does that mean now? There's a link. It's a link or it is a hyperlink. So it's the same when you open a browser. When you're on a browser, you would see that text in blue and it has an underline you're noticing the same here also so if you move the pointer over to the word here and you press control and you click on it it's going to open that document i think she's only sharing um her document so we're not going to see it actually open but it should have opened the other document there. So that is how you create a hyperlink, and how you link it to another document there. So if it was a web page, you would have basically done the same thing to open to another page. I would have opened in the browser or so on. Any questions, you guys following? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Michaela. So uh, our next um, participant is Khadija. You're doing exercise three. Yes, sir. so using hyperlinks to direct to a website now now this exercise will show you how to create a hyperlink to access a website in your browser to see this happen you should have access to the internet and be online 
Most versions of Word recognize the format of web addresses and other file paths. So when you type in one and press the space bar or enter, it automatically creates a hyperlink in the text. For example, type www.oup.com and uh, press enter or space bar and it's going to make it to a hyperlink there. So even if you type www.google.com type that in and you've just created a hyperlink here also. Zoom in a little more. Good. So Word recognizes those as hyperlinks. Um, try just google.com. Let me see what happens. Okay, so it needs that um, www to basically recognize that it is a internet address good so to create a hyperlink using specific text it says to open a blank word document and type the following sentence this sentence contains this sentence contains a link to a website Good. Select the word website and then go to insert and hyperlink once again. Good. And alternatively, we could have right clicked and click on link. Good. On the left pane now, we select existing file or web page. Good. In the area box, in the lower part of the box, you type in the address. So notice you have an address at the bottom, an address box. So before, we were looking at adding an existing file. So in that case, we clicked on a file, and that would have taken us to a file. So even, so say for example, click on downloads, and, uh, well, you don't have any files in there, go back. It should be a back arrow. Or click on the drop down arrow with downloads here. Yeah. Click back an existing file or web page. Um, click on the um, Browse pages right on the current folder. Yeah, so we already know that if we click on one of those files, it's going to give us the uh, to the um, it's going to navigate us to that um, file. But if you notice in the address bar at the bottom, that box, notice we have an address there showing up. That is the address to the file on your computer. So it's just like if we were about to type in the address to the website, the computer has an address to the file in your computer. So it starts with that C drive. So you're going to see C colon. Um, what you can do, um, Khadija, copy it. Okay, close the box. Paste it. Right to the bottom and zoom in for us to look at it. So under that now, I want you to type the address um, www.google.com. Good. Good. So even those, even though those two look different, they actually work in the same way. Just that they are like different types of address taking you to different location. So the one in the middle, C colon um, backslash users backslash Khadija Parsram backslash documents backslash downloads. 
That is the, uh, what is the term referring to that? We looked at it um, a while ago. It's a term that refers to that. It's a term that refers to our paths that we take. Sir, breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs, the breadcrumb trail. So that is also a breadcrumb trail. It's the path you're gonna take to meet a certain location. So in this case here, the C colon refers to your hard drive. C colon refers to your hard drive. Users refers to a user's folder. Khadija Parasram refers to another folder, then the documents folder, then the downloads folder, and then we get to our location. So that there is actually an address. It's telling us what is the location. The same for www.google.com. That is also an address. And it is telling us that the www part is actually telling us the address is located on the internet. So just like how the C colon tells us that the address is on the computer, it's on our hard drive that has the letter C. The www is telling us that google.com is located on the internet. That is why if you remove www, the link will basically not work because it will not know where to find that address. But so I hope you guys, you guys following on that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, right, sir. So, so that's the difference there, not really a difference, but the different structure of addresses when it comes to addresses on your computer, addresses on the internet, and so on. So if we go back to the exercise, we were supposed to um, add the link to the word um, website, right? So click back on link. So if we had actually clicked on a file, it would take us to the file, but we want an address. So if we type in www.google.com, so if you, even if you, you notice the HTTP does automatically appear there also. So click OK. And uh, if you click on it, it's going to take you to that website. You will control and you click on it. It's going to open your browser and take you to that location. And we cannot see because you're only sharing um, that one window there. All right. So to create a hyperlink using an image now, um, open a blank word document, add an image. You can just add the image right there. Add an image, paste it into the document. Any image should be fine. Good, so we have an image there. Now select the image. So remember when you select an image, you're gonna see that drawing tools and picture tools at the top there. That means you would have selected it. So go to the insert tab and you go back to hyperlink or link. And uh, same thing again on the left side, you choose existing file or web page. And for the address, you type in the address you want to go to. So we can put in Google once again. And we click OK. So if we hold down control, let me see. Um, here's what to do, Khadija. Good. This is what, um, click outside of the image, the white space outside. Good. Just hover your cursor over it. Good. So notice if you guys can see our cursor is um, 
Move it to the uh, a little up. A arrow with another set of arrows in the background. That's our cursor right now. So hold the control key. And notice the cursor change. The cursor now changed to um, a hand with one finger pointing up. That is actually indicating it is a link. If you do the same for also google.com, scroll up. Just hover the cursor over it. Notice it's just um, the cursor is only looking like an eye, the normal cursor. But once you hold down control, it turns to that same hand with the finger. If you do the same for website above, when you hold, hold down control, it turns to that hand with the finger. So that's how you can know that something actually is a hyperlink. So if she hold down control and click on the picture, it's actually going to open the uh, website that she just created there. All right, so thank you, Khadija. So we're at exercise four now, Jeremiah. Are, are you guys following on that one? Um, exercise three? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Exercise four now. Using hyperlinks to be directed to a bookmark. Um, this exercise uses chapter 6x document to move the cursor to a place within the same document. It is similar to using a bookmark. So open the chapter 6 document or use a document with at least 6 paragraph. Locate the fifth paragraph and select the first word in the paragraph. Um, select insert on the ribbon and go to link alternatively you could have used right click in the left pane select place in this document so select the bookmark top and press ok the text the selected text in a paragraph now looks like a hyperlink and if we use control and we click on it, it should take us to that bookmark location. But so the cursor actually moved up. What you can do, zoom in and you can actually see it move if you zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in a little more. Mm -hmm. I think Jasmine completely just froze. Go back to the um the word, the hyperlink. Good. And if you click on it, it's gonna scroll up automatically and take us to the location at the top here. Good. So that is how we can um use a hyperlink within our document with a bookmark. So if you notice, um, if we click back and bookmark under the, um, the insert tab, if we wanted to go to a bookmark, it was a little bit technical because you have to go and click on one of these, um, you have to open bookmark, click on the bookmark and select go to. So it's a little bit of work to go to the bookmark. But if you implement it as a hyperlink, you put it somewhere as a hyperlink like what we just did then it's just a simple click and it would take you to that location which is going to be a little easier all right any questions on that are you guys following
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So thank you, Jaz uh, Jeremiah. Oh, I thought it was Jasmine. Yes, thank you, Jeremiah. Um, so next we have Jasmine. That's going to be exercise five. Jasmine? Sir, it's not allowing me to share. Like, do I need to put on something special or something? No. Um, the share button isn't like becoming clickable. Well, that's new. Um, I don't. Meet doesn't uh, restrict anybody from share share screening. Um, either way, um. Savitri, you want to help us with this one? Sir, I can help. What you said, Savitri? Oh, okay, sorry. Could you repeat? I think you were breaking up. Did you ask if anyone could help? Yeah, so I was asking if you could help with this exercise. That's Jasmine. Yes, sir, I could help. I have to get a new uh, document. Um, you're using this exercise. It uses Chapter Six EX document. Okay. So exercise five, using hyperlinks to be directed to a new document. This exercise uses the chapter six document. It says to locate the second paragraph and then select the first word in the paragraph and uh, go to insert, click on link, or you can right click and do it. On the left pane, you're going to see create new document. Now, one thing to note here is that any of you who are doing the exercise, you, um, any of you came across that you did not see this option? Yeah. Other than Jeremiah, anybody else? So, Basically, I'm not sure why sometimes it appears and why sometimes it does not appear. But basically, what all you're doing, if for instance you don't see it, all it is basically doing is creating a document for you. So, if there's a situation whereby you do not see the option, you could always create the document manually, like open a Microsoft Word, create it, save it and go to the existing file and connect it there. It's basically gonna work the same way. But just that with this option here, we are creating it through the uh, hyperlink box here. So that's just in case you don't see the option. Now, if we click create new document, it says for the new file, type the name exercise five Hyperlink to new documents. Hyperlink to new documents. So you can use the current location shown on the full path. So if you notice right below, that's our path. It's going to be saved to the desktop. 
or you can uh, basically click on change which is going to browse allow you to browse to another location so you can pick somewhere else if you want it to be saved somewhere else so select the option to edit the new document later so you can either edit it now or edit it later so we're going to edit it later and we're going to click ok and we're going to hover the click ok and we're going to hover the uh, text hover pointer over the text so we're going to click on it with control and it should open the uh, new document there so that's how we can link documents together so say for instance um you're working on two assignments and it refers to information in another assignment you could link those two files together um Savitri, I want to see how the other option works. What you can do, minimize that. And basically do back the same thing. You can choose, choose another word and go to link to create another document. Create another document, yeah, just create any random document. Good. So now we're using the option to edit the document now. So hopefully if that's the case, the document should open. When we click OK. Yeah. So that's going to open there. The random documents open. And we can make any changes to it. And if we close it. And we click on when. The hyperlink that we just created. It is going to open back that document for us. Okay. So that is how we link to a document using hyperlinks. So if you notice, the we're actually seeing the different the various uses of hyperlinks to link us to another location, to link us to a web page, to link us to another document. We're seeing all of that here. So six, thank you, Savitri. Exercise six, Daniel. Do we have Daniel? Jasmine. Yes, sir. Um, that's a future reference. I just saw the image you sent me. If you click back on share, click back on share, and uh, if you, whatever option you choose, you have to click on that window. The screen that you see at the top there. Yeah. yeah. Click on it, and the share option should uh, be available to you now. So basically, you have to select the screen when you're at, at that share window and then click share. Oh, I see it. Good. All right, Danielle, you're at exercise six. So using hyperlinks to create a blank email. So this is another way we can create use hyperlinks. So a quick way to create a hyperlink to a blank email message is by typing the email address in a Word document and press the space to enter our space bar. So type an email address, any random email address.
good and press space bar or enter and notice it appeared as a hyperlink so if you click on that it's actually going to open with whatever options you have to open an email it should give you a list of options to open that email or even a browser whatever your computer is default with so that's how you can use a um, email as a hyperlink however if the email address link is to be included in some text you may want to use the second option so in a blank word document type email customer support you can type it right there you don't need to create another one email customer support and select the text click on, click on link hyperlink You can either right click or go to insert either one good so notice his version have the word hyperlink so that means he has a slightly older version no versions would have link and on the left pane select email at the bottom good so type your email address or alternatively use info IT for CSEC at Gmail, anything can work, doesn't matter. Just type in the email address. Notice mail to appears in front of the email automatically. So type exercise six as a subject and click OK. So when you click on that now, it should take you to the same email so this is a scenario whereby let's zoom in a little say for instance um, there are going to be cases where you want to see the email address like the first one at the top if you want to see the email address to know exactly what it is you want persons to see it then you could show it in this case like that but Sometimes you might want to have it a more, um, add more format into it then. Instead of just putting the email address, like you see in the first option, you can have some words that describe whose email it is. So like in the second option, email customer support. With that now, you know the email that when you click on it, is going to be the email for customer support so it's just a method of how you can add additional information to that hyperlink even um you can actually do the same for um other addresses if you were to create a hyperlink say for example um but we were, we were actually doing that all the time. We were creating a link to a word. When you click on the word website, it will take you to another link to another page and so on. So it was basically functioning the same way there. So the name of the website, the name of the email, if you don't want it in the show, you could use this method to put a certain phrase and uh, to add it to format into it and so that you just click on that and it will take them to that link there good are you guys following on that exercise yes sir yes sir all morning all i'm hearing is just two persons yes sir so, yes sir okay. thank you daniel we're moving on to exercise seven now and Aaron, you're up. All right. Zoom in for us. Sorry, you can see? Yeah, I can see it. 
zoom in. So to manage your hyperlink, first right click on the text or image. So you're going to need to open back one of the documents. Did you do any one of the exercise? Uh, no, sir. All right, well, we're going to need somebody that did the exercise. Um, Khadija? Yes, sir. Can you just dive in for us? Sir, uh, stop share screen. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, we need somebody that has the exercises. Or that will have done the exercise. Sir, which documents do I need for this exercise? Um, you can use chapter six. Okay. Just, just that one alone? I think so. We might need the one with the picture also. I don't think that's necessary. Just to show how to remove and edit. So I think chapter six is going to be enough. Oh, the exercise starts with a blank document. Okay, I'm not noticing it. Yeah. So in a blank document, type more with less. So Aaron could have actually done it. I didn't even look at it. Anyway, continue. More with less. And select the word more. And create a bookmark name first. Good, good. You can look at step one to remind you. Select the word less and create a hyperlink that will jump to the bookmark name first. So link, you wanna link it to place in this document. So that's going to show you the bookmarks. So you're going to click on first, because that's the bookmark we want to jump to. Good. So look for first in the tree of bookmarks that appear when you have selected place in this document. And copy the word more. Let's copy the word more. And move the cursor to the right end of the lines and press enter to move to the new line. Paste the text on the new line. Then create a hyperlink on your paste text to open the chapter 6 document. So highlight it, create your link, connect it to the existing chapter 6 document. If you click on resend files, you should see the um, files that you have. Good. Um, edit the new hyperlinks from step four and change the text to display at the top of the dialog box even more. So, right click on more. Yeah, that one. The one at the bottom. And edit hyperlink. So change the text to display to even more instead of just more at the top. Okay. 
So notice we now have even more. So add it even more on the second line so it opens um, the document name chapter 6 x new. So we open in a new document. That is it. Edit the hyperlink. And we're going to create a new document. Good. And uh, chapter 6 new exercise. So that's going to create a whole new link there. Replacing the old link. You can just click OK. Good. So that's going to take us to another location now. So we just changed the name of our hyperlink and we just changed the where it was located to. We just changed those two things. So if we no longer want it to be a hyperlink, we will simply right click on it. And remove hyperlink. So now it is no longer a hyperlink there. So, good. So we've completed our exercises one to seven. Do you guys have any questions in any one of the exercises? No, sir. No, nope. sir. All right. Please okay. remember, please remember all of those features it will be a part of your CSEC exam. You have to know how to add those bookmarks, how to add those links, because this is what's part of your syllabus. This is part of your content for creating those elements. So how to add a bookmark, how to add the hyper hyperlink, how to add the hyperlink for um, to another document, to another location in the document, to a website, so an email address, those are all uses for a hyperlink and you saw how you can create a hyperlink to those different locations and then how you can edit the hyperlink in case you need to make any changes to it. Alright, so if you guys don't have any questions, we're going to end here for today. Enjoy the rest of the day.